Mira took off his jacket and turned to jump off the skyscraper. As the speed of the fall continued to accelerate, his body gradually became invisible. During his high-speed descent, he breaks through a glass window and rushes into the building, instantly killing several armed men in seconds. However, during the rounds, a geisha robot hugged an innocent man and hid in a corner. Mira shoots the robot down, which tries to resist, but Mira adds a few more shots until the robot is completely paralyzed. At that point, his colleague Bart arrives with a team. Mira examines his wounds and then looks at the robot on the ground with doubt in his mind. Bart tells him, you're not like them, Mira. Instead of speaking, Mira turns away. It turns out that in the near future, all kinds of human organs can be transplanted. Robots, biochemicals, and bionics flooded the world, making it difficult to distinguish the real from the fake. As the largest electronic organ organization, Hanka Machinery has secretly developed a military agent that implants human brains into purely mechanical bodies. And Mira is one of them. His body was severely damaged during an attack. So Hanka transplanted his brain into a robotic body and dispatched him to Section 9, Public Security of the Ministry of Defense to participate in the fight against terrorists. However, one of the victims of the attack was a Hanka Corporation executive, and a number of ministers were killed one after another, and all of them had their brains invaded, leaving clues that the murderer, who called himself the Ninth, was coming for revenge. As a result, the section chief dispatches Mira and Bart to travel inside the Hanka Machinery Company to look for clues. On the way to the company, Mila sees a strange vision through the car window, a scene that seems familiar. However, after careful examination by Dr. Wallet, there is no abnormality in his body. Mira and Bart eventually arrive at the Hanka Machinery Company and find the doctor attempting to repair a damaged robot. But the damage is so severe that it will take a long time to fully repair it. In order to get a clue, Mira decides to extract memory fragments by diving into the robot's brain. However, brain interconnections are fraught with danger, and the slightest mistake could result in a counter-invasion. Despite being fraught with risk, Mira thinks it is the only way and decides to take a chance. After the doctor activated the interconnection program, Mira was transported to a place called the Noise Bar. Everything here is broken, as if everything is made up of pieces of data. Soon, he sees the knife, but the knife quickly counterattacks, launching a hacking attack that surrounds Mira, and no matter how much he struggles, it doesn't help. Luckily, Bart cuts the connection just in time to save Mira. Mira and Bart then go to Hanka Machinery, where another doctor is trying to repair a robot. But the robot is too damaged to be fully repaired. As a result, Mila decides to get clues by accessing the robot's memories. However, the process is fraught with danger as they don't know if the robot will fight back. Meanwhile, the Ninth continues its revenge operation by attacking a Hanka Corporation minister, an event that also attracts the attention of Mira and Bart. They manage to find the hard drive in the minister's possession, which contains a list of people involved in the military operative program, and several of the scientists who were killed earlier are on the list. With DR, Willette being the next target, Mira and Bart head to the doctor's location, but the doctor is attacked in his car with his assistant. Mira steps in just in time to save the doctor, but the cleaner unleashes a strafing attack on the people in the car. But the chief of section arrives just in time to launch a counterattack using a suit case as a shield, repelling the attackers. As the incident escalates, the section chief decides to report it to the prime minister, but their call is overheard by the owner of Hanka. The owner of Hanka decides to go to extreme measures and sends armed men to attack the section chief and attempt to assassinate him. However, the section chief performs well in the attack and manages to fend off the attack and Mira gradually recovers some of her memories using the memory chip provided by the doctor and learns her true identity. Finally, Mira arrives at the Hanka Corporation's headquarters and unravels the company's conspiracy, revealing the truth behind it. He learns that his name is Suko, and that he once suffered from Hanka Corporation's experiments with the Ninth, and they work together to uphold justice and continue to pursue the truth, together with the Ninth. He fights against the evil deeds of the Hanka Corporation. And ultimately, his mission is to expose the wrongdoings of the Hanka Corporation and defend the rights of humans and biochemicals.